Hi and welcome back to another Tech Minds video. Now in today's video, we're going to take a look at the Chameleon Tactical Delta Loop, which is a multiband portable antenna. Now the included matching transformer is the Char Hybrid Micro, which provides impedance matching for the Tactical Delta Loop. Now the build quality of this thing is quite unreal. It's extremely good with every part perfectly machined. Now on one end, we find an SO239 socket, which is used for connecting your 50 ohm feeder cable, which then obviously goes off to your ATU or radio. Next up is the included earth spike, which is also used to mount the antenna low to the ground, as well as providing antenna grounding. The little thumb screw that you can see there is used to connect to counterpoise when using this antenna as a vertical only antenna. It also provided are two telescopic whips which extend to 17 feet each and when collapsed measure just a mere 24 inches. Now these are extremely high quality and you can see that between each joint that there's an extra shoulder which makes those elements considerably more secure. Now within the included pack, you'll also find a V coupling antenna socket, which is screwed into the stud base earth spike. The main elements then connect to this V coupler, which I'll show you shortly. A plastic line wire holder is provided, which allows easy storage of the included 25 foot length insulated wire. Each end of the wire has a springy connector, which connects to the tip of the main telescopic whips. This then makes it into a true delta loop. Now my kit also came with 50 feet of coax with an inline RFI choke. Now this helps against common node current coming back into the transmitted radio. So let's head outside to the garden and get this antenna set up. So first I'll attach the coupler to the earth spike. Now these parts fit together so nicely and the machining quality can really be felt with these. Once that's attached, I'll then just push this spike into the ground. Now I pushed this in quite far as it was quite a rather windy day and I just felt I needed some extra support. But I believe you should only really push this into the ground around eight inches. Now this raises the antenna slightly off the ground, but you can experiment with this yourselves. Now next up is to attach the telescopic antenna to the top of the included matching transformer. Again, these fit together extremely well due to that precise build quality. Now I will attach the bottom of the matching transformer to one of the V coupler's threaded holes. These also fit together very well. The order in which you attach all of these items, it's really up to you. I just found it easier to do it this way. After attaching the other telescopic antenna to the other side of the V coupler, it was now time to attach the element wire between the two tips of each of the telescopic antennas. Now you will notice a little tension loop near the spring loaded connector. Now I just place this over the little ball at the end and then attach the spring loaded clips towards the top. The other end of the wire is attached exactly the same way. Now after extending both telescopic elements as far as they'll go, you'll be left with something like this. Of course, we still need to connect the 50 ohm feeder cable to the SO239 socket, which is on the bottom of the matching transformer. Now, as you can see, I have this delta loop mounted on the ground and it's pointing north south. As these delta loops are most affected broadside, my signal will work better east to west. Now, of course, if I wanted to, I could easily swing this antenna around or even mount this antenna on a mast and have it above the roof line with a rotator. Remember, this is a portable antenna, so not really suitable for permanent installation. Uh, Mike Zero Delta Quebec Whiskey. Yeah, thank you very much. You're also 5-9 into the UK this morning. Thank you very much and good luck, 7-3. Thank you very much. Mike Zero, Delta, Quebec Whiskey. Mike Zero, Delta, Quebec Whiskey, thank you. Five nine. My name is Laura. Yeah, very good morning to you. My name here is Matt. Mike Alpha Tango Tango. The name here is Matt. 
Mike Alpha Tango Tango, and I'm about 15 miles west of London in the United Kingdom. Uh, your report, your 59 plus 20, 59 plus 20, very, very strong this morning. Okay, 73s, thanks for the contact. Hope you have a good day. From Mike Zero Delta, Quebec Whiskey. Bye bye. Thank you, bye bye. This is Hotel Golf 23, Yankee Oscar Tango Alpha. would have noticed I was switching between my NFED halfwave and the TDL and with the TDL receiving much less noise. Although the signals were slightly lower on the delta loop you have to remember the location of this antenna compared to the NFED halfwave. Using the same kit parts this antenna can be configured as a ground mounted vertical using the wire that connects between the two elements as a counterpoise and connected to the earth spike. Now the deployment time of this antenna is super quick. Even the delta loop is super quick to deploy. Now I did perform an SWR suite for both the delta loop and the vertical installation and they came out very close to what's shown in the user's manual. You notice that in the SWR graph that the SWR lowers slightly when the delta loop is elevated. Maybe something I will try in the future. Now with the vertical antenna mounted, I did manage to make a QSO using my Hermes Light 2 radio. Mike Zero Delta Quebec Whiskey. Uh, Mike Zero Delta Queen Whiskey. Uh, thank you, thank you. Very good afternoon. And uh, by the way, you are very nice signal. I think you are 5 and 9 uh, clear. The name on this end is Yuham like Juliet Uniform Honolulu Alpha. And location here is 300 kilometers north of Helsinki. I live here in the western part of Finland, in the countryside. And you are here. I will give you an exact report on next over, but I think you are you are five and nine. Uh, Mike Zero Delta Queen Whiskey. This is Ocean Hotel Six. Juliet, Juliet, microphone. Yeah, Oscar Hotel 6, Juliet, Juliet. This is Mike Zero Delta, Quebec Whiskey. Yes, uh, I think there's someone tuning on the band. Uh, it wasn't me tuning uh, a moment ago, just to uh, just to clarify. Uh, it wasn't me tuning. <laughs> but uh, anyway, the name here is Matt, Mike Alpha Tango, and uh, I'm about 15 miles west of London. And uh, I'm just trying out a new antenna this afternoon. Uh, it's just a ground-mounted uh, vertical uh, made by Chameleon. So I'm uh, just uh, testing it out and see how well it works. Uh, you're coming into the UK 59 plus 20. 59 plus 20 and even stronger at times. So uh, you're definitely the strongest on the band that I can see at the moment. But uh, very nice to uh, work you for the first time. Uh, from Mike Zero, Delta Quebec Whiskey. Over yeah, to you. thank you, Matthew. Thank you, and all copied. And uh, yeah, I noticed that it wasn't you who was tuning there uh, because he was tuning also over over your speed. 
Yeah, you are here by five and nine as I expected. So there we go, guys, the tactical delta loop from Chameleon, which can also be used as a ground mounted vertical. Now, I'm really impressed with this antenna and would not hesitate to recommend it for any portable or temporary station. It's easy to put up. There's no tuning at the antenna itself. It's built really well and it also works great. Now, if you have one of these or any of the other Chameleon products, then let us know down in the comments below. I'd be interested to see how any of you guys get on with these types of antennas. Anyway, until the next video, stay safe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.